So most presidential debates are framed from a right-wing perspective, whether that's the questions that are asked or just the overall dialogue. And this most recent debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden was no exception. And so I'm going to play this clip. It's Chris Wallace asking Joe Biden about taxes. And I have a problem with the question, but I also have a problem with Chris Wallace's kind of rebuttal to Joe Biden's answer. And so we're going to play the clip and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. I'm a plan. If you were to be yes, elected sir. president, uh, focuses a lot on big government, big taxes, big spending. I want to focus first on the taxes. You propose more than four trillion dollars over a decade in new taxes on individuals making more than four hundred thousand dollars a year and on corporations. President Trump says that that kind of an increase in taxes is going to hurt the economy as it's just coming out of a recession. Well, just take a look at what as the, the analysis has been done by Wall Street firms. Points out that my, my economic plan would create 7 million more jobs than his in four years, number one. And number two, it would create an additional $1 trillion in economic growth because it would be about buying American. That we have to, we're going to make this federal government spend $600 billion a year on everything from ships to steel to buildings and the like. And under my proposal, we're going to make sure that every penny of that has to be made by a company. But, but respectfully, in sir, I'm talking about taxes, not spending. Oh, well, uh, by the way, I'm going to eliminate a significant number of the tax. I'm going to make the, the, the corporate tax 28%. It shouldn't be 21%. So Joe Biden goes on there and he continues talking about taxes and some of the different taxes that he would get rid of and increase. But the problem is with what Chris Wallace had to say. And so I actually don't have a huge issue with Joe Biden's response because, you know, Chris Wallace asks, so Trump says that your taxes will hurt the economy. Um, and Joe Biden responds properly. By t I, I think that he could have phrased it better, but he starts talking about the different jobs that will be created by his economic plan and, and so forth. But Chris Wallace goes, now you're talking about spending. I asked you about taxes. But the problem with that is that doesn't make any sense why you would only focus on the taxation part if we're talking about the effect on the economy because taxes don't just go into some hole somewhere they don't just go go into the void and we never see them again no they come in to you know taxes come in and then they go out they get spent and people when, whenever there's analysis regarding like people's economic plans they only ever focus on the taxation part of it and then they say well obviously if joe biden wants to increase taxes that will have a negative effect on the economy because there will be less money. People people will really say this, that there'll be less money circulating in the economy and that will hurt it. But when the government taxes it, it also spends that money and it can redistribute that money into more effective means. And so right now there, we, there are high levels of wealth concentration at the top in this country. So increasing taxes on the people at the top would you know it could that money goes into the government and then it can be redistributed in infrastructure spending public works programs things like i mean obviously you, you, could, you could do any number of things with it you know obviously a medicare for all system um but the point is jobs are created when the government spends money the, the, there is economic stimulation that happens and that's honestly one of my biggest problems with people's critiques of the green new deal is they only want to look at one side of the ledger they only want to talk about how much it's going to cost they don't want to talk about the jobs that it will create they don't want to talk about the massive stimulating effect that a piece of um, legislation like that would have on the economy um and, and joe biden like i said he does have the right idea of it but this notion that you can't talk about the, the other side of things that you only have to, there's this inherent belief that, oh, taxes must by definition hurt the economy. And so I'm, I'm sure that Chris Wallace, what he expected there was Joe Biden to backpedal and start talking about, oh, I'm actually not going to raise taxes. I'm actually not going to do this. But when we have a situation that we have right now, because he, he says, oh, if we're coming out of a recession, like these taxes aren't going to, um, aren't going to help people. But it's like, we are in an economic recession right now and there are already people hurting. Joe Biden's tax plan, frankly, his tax plan doesn't go far enough when it comes to taxing people at the top and corporations and whatnot, but it is something. It's better than Trump's, that's for sure. And so what it does, though, is that there's already people doing bad. All it would do is it would take in some of the money because I mean, billionaires have, have made fortunes. Hundreds of billion dollars have been added to U.S. billionaires' net worth over the course of this pandemic. It would just redistribute some of that wealth to help the people who are suffering right now. Maybe billionaires don't have to make over hundreds of billions of dollars during a pandemic, during an economic recession. Maybe that money can be put towards creating more jobs for people, giving people health care. It's all sorts of things. Um, and so I just, it's so frustrating when people like to say, oh, Chris Wallace, he's so anti-Trump. He's so like this, that, like the, it was two on one versus, you know, Donald Trump. And you know, maybe in terms of Chris Wallace's 
preference when it comes to candidate. I would maybe agree that, yeah, Chris Wallace probably does have a preference um, for Biden. But when it comes to ideology, there were three people with conservative points of view on the stage there. Some of them a little bit less conservative, but all three of them had conservative points of view. And I think that that's a problem. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you disagree with anything I said, please leave a comment down below. Um, but if you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe and have a great day.